The electrification of the entire Mercedes-Benz lineup is stepping up yet another gear. Mercedes-Benz is showcasing the full breadth of its current and future electric mobility lineup. In this video, we will show you all of them, from compact models to performance luxury saloons to multi-purpose vehicles. Number 8. Mercedes-Benz EQA The EQA is an electric variant of the GLA crossover SUV's second generation, through which the company will deliver its promises in 2021. In contrast, the concept EQA from 2017 was a hatchback based on the W177A class. The Mercedes-Benz EQA will be built on the W177A class chassis. Mercedes-Benz designed the GLB with an electric engine in mind, so the crossover retains the characteristics that make it one of its class's most flexible cars. It could seat up to seven people, though the third row is best left to those five foot four and under, and its boxy dimensions allowed designers to optimize internal space. Only the new look instruments distinguish the EQB from the GLB from the driver's seat. Otherwise, they're identical. The initial model, the EQA 250, features a single 190 horsepower electric motor and a range of 480 kilometers or 300 miles. The 2021 Mercedes-Benz EQA 250 is reported to utilize 16.2 kilowatts per hour per 100 kilometers and has a range of 426 kilometers on the more complex WLTP test cycle or 480 kilometers on the local ADR test cycle. Mercedes-Benz provides three years of free public charging on the ChargeFox network. The EQA can charge at 100 kilowatts on DC public fast charge infrastructure and 11 kilowatts when connected to the appropriate residential wall box. Number 7. Mercedes-Benz EQB Mercedes-Benz has added a third electric SUV to its lineup in the form of the EQB, which debuted at the Auto Shanghai 2021 Auto Show in China. The EQB, based on the GLB, will be a subcompact crossover with a WLTP estimated range of 499 kilometers and will be available in 2021. Mercedes-Benz designed the GLB with an electric engine in mind, so the crossover retains the characteristics that tag it one of the most flexible cars in its class. It can seat up to seven people, though the third row is best left to those five foot four and under, and its boxy dimensions allowed designers to optimize internal space. The dual motor system of the 2021 EQS based on the Vision EQS concept produces a combined 469 horsepower and 560 pound-feet of torque. The EQS 2021 will be powered by two electric motors, making it a conventional all-wheel drive vehicle. EQS, on the other hand, replaces the V8's exhaust sound with quiet. Only the new-look instruments distinguish the EQB from the GLB from the driver's seat. Otherwise, they're identical. It is developed from the combustion engine GLB, as the name indicates, and stands between the smaller EQA and bigger EQC in Mercedes' electric lineup. In terms of style, it combines the GLB's boxy body with numerous stylistic features recognizable from other Mercedes EQ vehicles, including a large flat panel in place of a grille, complex alloy wheel designs, full-width front and rear light strips, and plenty of metallic accents inside and out. Number 6. Mercedes-Benz EQC The EQC would have used two electric motors in conjunction with a lithium-ion battery. A one-speed direct-drive gearbox powered all four wheels. This power plant would have produced 402 horsepower and 561 pound-feet of torque. We never had the chance to put the EQC to the test, but Mercedes-Benz calculated it would have taken 4.8 seconds to accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour. That would have placed it behind its main competitor in this class, the Tesla Model X. Tesla claims a 4.4 second 0 to 60 miles per hour time for the long range model and 2.7 seconds for the high performance variant with ludicrous mode activated. The interior of the EQC would have given more extraordinary outright luxury than rivals like the Tesla Model X and Jaguar I-Pace. The structure was strong, the artistry was flawless, and the materials utilized were the highest quality. Another reason to be upset about the EQC's cancellation is the high-quality cabin. Mercedes never revealed the ultimate load capacity of this SUV. However, as a point of comparison, the GLC class, on which the EQC would have been based, has 19 cubic feet of cargo capacity behind its rear seats. As you'd imagine, the EQC would have had a slew of cutting-edge technological features. Sirius XM satellite radio and a Burmester sound system were included as standard features. 
The cabin would have included two 10.25 inch displays, one for the instrument cluster and the infotainment system. They would have given the place a more modern appearance if used together. Number 5. Mercedes-Benz EQS and EQS SUV The Mercedes-Benz EQS will be the first vehicle to be built on the MEA electric platform. The EQS is an electric full-size luxury car designed to be on par with the S-Class. It will be the first EQ vehicle built on the specialized MEA modular electric architecture platform. It is scheduled for production soon, sometime in 2021. The all-new Mercedes-Benz EQS sedan for 2021 is a quieter, roomier, and faster S-Class with holographic lighting and a continuously lighted strip up front. The Mercedes Vision Concept vehicle served as the inspiration for the production spec EQS sedan. According to Mercedes, the EQS's twin motors should propel the electric car from 0 to 60 miles per hour in less than 4.5 seconds. In comparison, the Model S long range takes 3.7 seconds to accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour. While its performance versions offer a 0 to 60 miles per hour sprint time of 2.4 seconds, it comes at the cost of a reduced range. The dual motor system on the 2021 EQS will give it a range of about 435 miles on a single charge. This Mercedes-Benz EV will be outfitted with cutting-edge technology such as Level 3 Autonomous Driving Technology, which will allow it to drive itself. Number 4. Mercedes-Benz EQE and EQE SUV This is our first look at Mercedes' upcoming pure electric SUV, which will increase the brand's EQ model lineup to 6 by 2022. This car will sit above the Mercedes EQA, EQB, and EQC in the line while also providing a higher riding option to the EQE Saloon. The EQS Saloon will top the range in 2021 along with its SUV model. The EQE, a lower level sedan akin to the C-Class small executive vehicle, is on sale in 2022. The EQE with a range of over 600 kilometers will be the second model based on the MEA electric car platform. That's 373 miles. It should speed up from 0 to 100 miles per hour in 4 to 4.5 seconds thanks to 400 horsepower and 700 to 750 newton meters of torque. In October 2020, both a sedan and an SUV variant were officially announced with the sedan debuting initially in 2022. The newest version of the Mercedes' MBUX infotainment system will almost definitely be used in the EQE. It might be similar to the configuration featured on the current E-Class, which has a 12.3-inch touchscreen that can be operated via different controls. These include a touchpad in the center console, intuitive switches on the steering wheel, and voice-activated instructions that, in our opinion, are more irritating than beneficial. Number 3. Mercedes EQ GLE Mercedes EQ-Benz's family is taking shape. The GLC-based EQC SUV will be accompanied by a more luxury SUV EQE, which will be the electric counterpart of the next generation GLE. The EQ GLE SUV, codename X296, will be released in 2022. The new EQ GLE will be positioned between the GLC and the GLE and available in various configurations. Mercedes, like the EQC, will feature a modular structure for the batteries. The entry-level EQ GLE will have a rear-wheel drive powered by a 170 kilowatt motor with the lowest battery containing 60 kilowatts per hour. The top-tier AMG EQ will have two engines with a combined power output of up to 500 kilowatts per hour and a battery capacity of 110 kilowatts per hour. The engines will have five power stages. 170, 200, 250, 350, and 500 kilowatts, as well as four battery capacities, 60, 80, 95, and 110 kilowatts per hour. The range will increase from 420 kilometers to 660 kilometers, and Mercedes promises an 80% battery charge in less than 10 minutes thanks to new technology. Number two, Mercedes-Benz EQG. Mercedes-Benz has suggested that the EQG, the G-Class concept car with a 100% electric powertrain, would be previewed at the IAA Mobility 2021 in Munich. Externally, the EQG looks identical to G-Class vehicles with internal combustion engines, as opposed to the EQ models which have a distinct front design and specialized platforms. 
EQG is a G-Class modification with two electric motors and 108 kilowatts per hour battery packs. The models are known as the EQG 564 Matic and the EQG 584 Matic. Inside, the EQA is nearly identical to the GLA except for a few rose gold accents and minor embellishments. That translates to five seats with adequate cargo space inside the rear hatch. On the other hand, Mercedes has significantly elevated the cabin floor to the rear luggage floor to accommodate the battery pack. So there is less room in both regions, and backseat occupants are forced to sit in a less comfortable posture than a normal GLA. We don't know how much smaller the cargo hold is, thus we can't say how that will influence luggage capacity. Six carry-on bags fit under the backseat of the GLA 250. With the back seat stowed, the amount increased to 16 loads of baggage. Sales are expected to begin in 2022 or 2023. Number 1. Mercedes EQ GLS The electric version of the Mercedes GLS will launch in 2022 on the unique EVA platform and will be known exclusively as the Mercedes EQS SUV. The model will have two engines at each axle and a two-speed transmission at the rear axle, similar to the Porsche Taycan. All variants will use the 800V network. We anticipate a reasonably short charging time for the battery, which promises to have a capacity of about 100 kilowatts per hour in the full version. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out these videos shown on your screen right now.